O Blessed Virgin Mary, the hope and safety of the Roman people, the mother and protector of the Church, look upon us, your Filipino children, your Pueblo Amante de Maria, as we ask for your motherly intercession. We pray that you keep close to your heart all our civil and religious leaders, as well as our entire citizenry. May they truly mirror in their lives of selfless service the unfathomable love and mercy that your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, incarnated in his life and ministry. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this most holy mystery, let us recall to mind all our shortcomings before God, and ask God, ask God for pardon and for strength. And together we say, 
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners back to conversion. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. And so we pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot fi find favor in your sight. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you, I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart, a just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Verse before the gospel, blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the, the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not Scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which Jesus did not know, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does the law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, since the name of Nicodemus comes up in today's gospel passage, as a lone defender of Jesus, let us turn our attention to him. Nicodemus is one of those 
Jews who strictly interpreted the law of Moses, even adding to the already austere law, rules of their own making. He was additionally a card-holding member of the ruling religious body of the Jews, namely the Sanhedrin. Now, the Pharisees believed that Jesus was a character they had to watch out for because his reports warned he was not very compliant to their rules. To check the veracity of these reports, Jesus decided, Nicodemus rather, decided he would pay Jesus a visit. The scriptures, the gospels depict Nicodemus as paying a visit to Jesus in the middle of the night. That he paid Jesus this visit at night brought with it several advantages. For one thing, the hordes of people who were attracted to Jesus because of the things he said about God, and more importantly, because of the miracles he performed to validate his message, the crowds would not be crowding about him, but would instead be at home in bed. From the Gospel writer John's standpoint, There was also the symbolic function of presenting Nicodemus as a minion of darkness emerging from the clutches of night in order to come into the light, which as John himself says, and I quote, the surrounding darkness was powerless to overcome, end of quote. But it is funny to say, put it this way, because as a Pharisee, Nicodemus was not a minion of darkness but a picture instead of an upright and law-abiding and very religious person of right conduct. He would never have gotten membership in the Sanhedrin if he had been anything less, because as a group, it was the Sanhedrin's task to strictly enforce Jewish religious law. Anyway, Nicodemus goes to Jesus' night, very likely because he was divided over his desire to become a follower of Jesus, but at the same time, He is wanting to hang on to his identity as a Pharisee. It was like, Jesus is our family, Jesus is our job, Jesus is our financial security. The contrary options left him feeling rattled and confused. Now, words of Nicodemus indicate he correctly saw what Jesus had accomplished so far. He had said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these things that you do apart from the presence of God. End of quote. But Jesus takes him further along, saying to him, Nicodemus, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Without being born from above. Now, for most of Christian history, this phrase, being born from above, has been tied to baptism by water and the Spirit. And yet many today use it to indicate the particular vision of the Christian life in which they are subscribed. It has become code for the question, are you one of us or are you one of them? It is absolutely tragic that we Christians have allowed those words to divide us, to compartmentalize us when we are trying simply to do, to follow Jesus. When Jesus talks about being born from above, Jesus Nicodemus becomes immediately defensive, retorting, how can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? End of quote. I suppose he says that because he thinks he, Jesus is saying to him, you'd better go and be physically born again right now, which of course is absurd. All of us who have ever been parents, especially those among you who have been mothers, know that birth cannot be commanded. Birth cannot be scolded, cannot be cajoled into happening. It is by God's action that we are born. God is our parent. God created us. To be born of water and the Spirit is not something we can will in ourselves any more than we can will ourselves to become younger or older by five years. And what we, when we think, Similar thoughts, like when I get out of high school, then I'll have it made. Or when I get this degree, then I will be all set. Or when I find the right person to marry. Or when I have a baby. Or when I can afford this house. 
Now, we think these things because like Nicodemus, we are all achievers. We are all people accustomed to carrying the heavy load of achievement ourselves. By reminding Nicodemus of the possibility of being born from above, Jesus is offering him a respite from that heavy load. He is saying, in effect, God is laboring to bring you to birth, and only God can accomplish this. Try trusting in God instead of trusting in yourself. Jesus is saying, in effect, Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. End of quote. So Jesus is calling Nicodemus to let go, to let go of the notion that he can control every outcome, to let go of the idea that there is some way to be perfect, some way to obey the law, some way to interpret the law perfectly. Jesus is calling Nicodemus to let go of the idea that he can somehow avoid sin on his own without God's help. He is telling Nicodemus to instead trust in God, to let go and to let God. While we don't hear any response from Nicodemus, next morning, in fact, Jesus and his disciples get on the road again, taking Jesus' ministry into the Judean countryside. But we do get a couple later references to Nicodemus in the Gospel of St. John. He turns up again in the Gospel of John, 7th chapter, today's Gospel, in which Nicodemus does a very brave thing. He defends Jesus exactly at the time when it was most, the most dangerous thing for anyone to do so. He reminds the council, Does our law condemn anyone without first hearing him to find out what he is doing? Nicodemus surfaces one more time in the 19th chapter of the Gospel of St. John, immediately following the crucifixion of Jesus. There, he accompanies accompanies Joseph of Arimathea to retrieve the broken body of Jesus who had been left dead on the cross. It says in John 19 that Nicodemus brought with him a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. And then, and I quote, taking Jesus' body with Joseph of Arimathea, he wrapped it in with the spices in strips of linen in accordance with Jewish burial customs. And they lay Jesus in the tomb, end of quote. Nicodemus, therefore, was one of the two men who laid Jesus in his tomb. So the question is, was Nicodemus born again? Well, you be the judge of that. From his retreat beyond the Jordan, Jesus determines to go back to Jerusalem to face his destiny as the Savior of the world. Let us prepare to welcome him as the son of David <coughs> who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Christian community and its ministers prepare for the celebration of the Lord's Paschal mystery through intense prayer and recollection and with hearts renewed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who govern with authority over the people not sacrifice justice and truth for the sake of political expediency, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Jesus put himself in danger to save his friend Lazarus. May those who face risks of contamination of diseases or persecution of enemies to attend to those in need, find their strength and their reward from heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the sacrifice on Calvary gather the peoples from all sides and make them one nation under the fatherhood of God and worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. May the Lord guard those who travel today, console those who mourn, comfort the dying, and grant eternal rest to the departed ones, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Henry Tan, June Delandan, Father Robbie Sian of the Society of Jesus, Father Ramon Bautista of the Society of Jesus, Macy Sisipqua and Ellen Kionisala, 
we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the healing of Donnie Salvador, Concepcion Jimenez, and Emily Quasso, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the souls of Miguel Antonio Macuha, Dindo Macapagal, and Father Joel Victor Ino, Victorino, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the special intentions of Noni Carlos, Rosario Melchor and family, Jerry Tan and family, Connie Unson, Welvi Cadigoy, Kat Carlos, Yvonne Luna, Marge Matutina, Lisa Halandoni, Hannah Gonzalez, Marivic Ocampo, Nelia Nazareno, Susan Jorge, Jean C. and family, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Hasten to help us, for you are our strength and our shield. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray with these offerings you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defined, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just and our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks and humble our sinful pride and contribute to the feelings of the poor, the feeding of the poor, and so help to imitate your plan in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Together now, 
let us proclaim the mystery of our faith, saying, When we eat this bread and drink, drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, because I'm Kubao, I said Onesto, but think of your Bishop and the priests and the men and women who serve the Church. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, that with blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, that with the blessed apostles, and that with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let us, as one family in God, let us say the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, Look not on the disorder and the confusion and the disease and the violence in our world, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer to one another a sign of that peace. So peace to all. Peace be with peace you. To all. And now we pray, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Now we make the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So this is the Lamb of God. This is He who heals the brokenness of our lives, the brokenness of our bodies, the brokenness in the world. Happy are we who are called to His banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go now in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. Thank you, Ay, kung walang pumasok, baka makikita sa people of God. Okay. Yeah.